morning, my darling. How are we doing today? I am, I think I'm doing all right. No complaints just yet, which is always a little bit suspicious. Having another relatively slow one today, which is quite nice. Hence why we're talking, because I feel, oh, I just felt coffee down my leg. Why am I such a spilly girl? Oh, I've got a WhatsApp. <laughs> okay. That's one that can be dealt with off camera. Life feels a little bit less go, go, go at the moment. So it is nice just to be able to kind of like, plod along and take things at my own pace because i don't know what was going on with like end of june start of july but I, I don't know basically i don't know what was going on i said in one of my last videos i wanted to show you some pixie skincare and then i never got around to doing that so should we do that now let's do that now first and foremost someone's at the door absolutely stop it right now look what i've got I'm so excited for this. Completely lost my train of thought about what we were talking about earlier, but um, that's all right. So I am a flowers girl. There is nothing I love more than a bunch of flowers. Put the thing down, flip it, reverse it. Historically, the men that I'm romantically involved with are not flowers girls. These are flowers and these are from Freddie's Flowers. And they've really kindly sent some over to me, which is ever so sweet. And the cat is clearly loving the box. I need to check that all of these are cat safe. So I'm gonna move you away just for the time being, my darling. But yeah, Freddie's flowers got in touch and were like, would you like us to send you some flowers? And I was like, yes, please. Oh my God. Okay, these are beautiful. I need to go and put these in water downstairs, like ASAP Rocky, like right now. I'm gonna do it right now. Oh, this is so exciting. Right, I need to find a vase somewhere. Um, I have a little one, but I'm not sure if that's going to be big enough. Um, I could use a pint glass. That's, mm, I don't think that really fits the vibe of what I'm going for, does it? Oh, wait. Oh, I love it when the Universal Alliance. This is the vase. And then this is the cup that I've got my coffee in this morning. How nice. I love it when shit like that happens. Let's get some flowers going. So they have sent over, I think the bunch is called the Cucumber Sandwiches Bunch. Add the enclosed flower food to the water and repeat weekly to keep them perky. Freddy's flower food. And then it says with some secateurs, take an inch off each stem. However, I don't own secateurs because I, <laughs> In case you didn't realise, I'm just a girl, um, so I'm going to use a knife. They look amazing. They're so pretty. That has done wonders for my mood. Anyway. I wanted to show you skincare bits, specifically Pixie skincare bits. A couple of months ago, I went to the Pixie on Carnaby Street and they very kindly sent me away with some bits. So I'm not gonna show you everything that I got because first of all, overwhelming. But second of all, I just wanna show you the bits that, um, oh, stop picking. Um, I wanna show you the bits that I've been using and enjoying. Also, I'm gonna talk about other things that I've been enjoying recently because I think that's just that's just a nice way for us to both start our day. So first of all, this is the vitamin C eye cream. Under eye brightener is what it's officially called. And I don't like putting this directly on my skin. Go like that. Oh, I forgot I put an eyelash primer on this morning before I started vlogging because I've got some weird eyelashes that are just poking down at the moment. And so I thought if I used a primer to kind of stick them up, then that would stay there. So if my eyes look really weird, that is why. The under eye brightener, it's got vitamin C in it. And I do feel like it de-puffs me because that is a problem that I've got at the moment. My eyes are so puffy and my bags are so big because I'm tired. However, the coloring of it, the product, it doesn't match me, it's way too dark. But I don't think I'd go out like this. I'd go out with extra layers on the top, you know how I am. I told you, I think in the last video that I was using the Rose Ceramide Cream as a moisturizer, that, honestly, it slapped so hard. It's so good for healing my skin. I think ceramides are like fatty acids, so they help like pump up your skin. But I did say that I was running low on that and I was waiting for like a big breakout for that to kind of help calm it down. So at the moment I'm using this one instead, which is the Clarity Lotion. I haven't really found that this helps clear up my skin, but um, it doesn't break me out. So I will be taking that as a win if I'm totally honest. 
In terms of washing my face, I've been using the Rose Cream Cleanser recently. I think it's got chamomile in it. Yes, it literally says on the bottle, it's got chamomile in it. I feel like that's really gentle on my skin because not only do I have problematic skin, but she is so sensitive as well. And that is not obviously conducive to someone who likes to wear a lot of makeup, take their makeup off and put more makeup on. Being a makeup girly is... It's brutal out here, I'm not gonna lie to you. And then recently, I've got this one, which is the Rose Tonic as well, because I was like, I love the cleanser, I love the ceramide moisturizer, I'm gonna give the tonic a go. Like, I've literally only used this twice so far. It just smells so nice. It smells like my nan, and not in like an old lady way, in, but more in like a feminine, comfort, joyous kind of way. Does that make sense? And then lastly, on the Pixi front, I have spoken about both of these products before, but it's worth talking about it if I'm talking about Pixi. The On The Glow Super Glow, which is like this stick um, and then I pop that on the high points of my face and even under like a high coverage foundation this just kind of shines through with the most like gorgeous healthy glow it does what it says on the tin and then obviously this one is on its last legs and very very mucky this is the h2o skin tint in vanilla I love this for just like a casual no makeup makeup look and also the shade is a little bit darker than i'm used to so it's really really great when the sun's out and i've got like a little bit of a sun-kissed glow like love that i think i'm gonna switch to my other camera because this one keeps giving me like an overheating warning and i am um, i'm over it i'm not gonna lie okay let's try that one on for size i love this camera i've had this camera since i was in first year of uni however the screen on it flips up and she is broken it's not the best to use um because if you move her too quick she's like no i'm not doing anything i'm not you know i'm not doing anything more for the day but she is what i film all of my like close-up makeup stuff on and i just think the quality of her is gorgeous like objectively this is a much prettier shot than on my other camera and um, i feel like that was kind of a weird thing to say um because i can appreciate that if you're watching a vlog, you don't really care what it's being filmed on, but I love a gadget. Honestly, like walking around second floor of John Lewis, all the gadgety bits and getting to play with everything. Oh, dream day, honestly. Right, look alive, Elle. Let's, let's get something going. Still loving the Thayer's moisturizer. However, I used clarity one today so i'm not going to be using that right now i think i just want to go for like really quick easy base makeup and then if i'm feeling it i'll uh, do something funny on my eyes but for now i just just want to get the first bit over and done with so using the mac brow lock pro brow gel pro locked brow gel and i do really really like this for more of like just a natural brow that i know is going to stay put all day if i'm going for something that i want to be like more bushy and keeping the hairs upright and in place all day it's going to be the collection 2000 clear mascara it's not collection 2000 anymore it's just collection i love this product it's two pound fifty and it will be the best thing you've ever bought for your makeup bag if i can influence you on anything let it be this please and thank you clara released a new album i think it was last week actually but it's only been i've only started listening to it this week so it's new to me and i have been really really enjoying it i've dabbled in claro um before and i really enjoyed i think she did like a live album the, there was there was some live versions of her songs on spotify and i really enjoyed those but this new album charm is just oh my god it fills a hole in my life that i didn't realize i had it is just a gorgeous album and um and i've really loved listening to it it's been like a any time any place kind of listen i've had a bit of an anxious one this week so um my skin is angry with me not fun not cool I need to be taking better care of myself and uh what there we go i've had a hair on my face for the last like 10 minutes and i haven't been able to get it anyway my skin not cool not fun not big not clever need to be taking care of myself and controlling impulses to tear off every layer of myself like an onion however that just doesn't seem to be the case sometimes i'm gonna go in with the glossier brow flick today I have been more of a brow crayon kind of girly recently just i've just seen this and i thought oh why don't i use that very often i do like the way this works especially in combo with the mac pro locked gel it just it just gives a really nice, natural, low maintenance looking brow, which actually I read in Cosmo. Yes, I read Cosmo. My mum got me a subscription for Christmas and when it comes through the door, it is genuinely like the highlight of my day. Okay, first of all, one thing you should know about me is that there is not much I love more than post. Second of all, 
I also love a little magazine. A little magazine in the bath? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, I read in Cosmo that, that like a super low maintenance brow is something that we're seeing on a lot of people recently. So I was actually kind of feeling really good about myself because I was like, wow, I'm so ahead of the curve. I, I haven't been bothered to do my eyebrows properly in months. So I was like, wow, am I, am I trendy? I actually just think it comes from a place of laziness, impatience can't be bothered to do my eyebrows because I've cut a fringe back in. I don't know. It's too long to be worn as a full fringe and it's too thick to be like a cute wispy one. I can kind of pull these bits to the side and then maybe it could be wispy if I put like a little bit more bounce in there, but she just wants to par all the time. And that's my fault because I have a cow slick and I'm constantly just brushing my hair off my face. Basically, I don't know what I'm doing with my hair at the moment and it's, it's a whole thing. It's not that deep, I do realize that. But the point I was trying to make was that I, um, can't really be bothered with my eyebrows because because when I'm getting ready in the morning I'm like ah it's alright my friend will cover it. It doesn't. This foundation is definitely the wrong colour for me. This is the Bourjois Healthy Mix and in the light beige colour. I do have the vanilla one somewhere. I don't know if that's lighter or darker. But at this point I don't, I don't really care if my foundation doesn't match my neck. I'm a flawed person. Sue me. I got this brush recently actually. This is a Real Techniques, what's it say on the side? Expert face brush and I just love how dense it is. I feel like I can really get into buffing all the edges and the harsh lines out of makeup with this. I can't remember what I was talking to you about. Oh, Claro's album. Really enjoying that. What else have I really been enjoying recently? Ooh, New Girl. I've been watching New Girl. I think I first watched it about three years ago um, and I abandoned it because I was like, the actual worst character in New Girl is the titular new girl, Jess. Like, I, I just could not get on board with her character. I've done some personal development and I've done some growth, and I've realized that most of the time, the main character in something is the worst one. They're just like the plot carrier. And then it's all the other characters around them, which are the good ones. But going into watching New Girl with that outlook on life, has been really, really great for me. And it's also weirdly done some great stuff for my self-esteem as well, because I'm like, oh, I can hate myself, but as long as I, I love my friends and the ones around me, then I'm having a good time. I'm not sure that was good advice or a good outlook, so don't take, take that one with pinch of salt. We got some things to work through. But yeah, really enjoying New Girl. I just think it's like fun, silly, goofy, and I heart Schmidt. I love him so much. What a, what a silly goose. Hello, my darling. No one confuses me more than this cat. Like, we have, like, the nicest, cuddliest, sweetest mornings together. And then I'll be walking up the stairs and she'll just, like, bite my leg. And I'm like, really? I actually think she's a bit upset with me at the moment because I wouldn't let her bite my leg. But she's throwing a strap and we're in a huge fight and that's fine. But sometimes conflict happens. Normally when I sit down to do some makeup, I have, like, a little plan of what I'm going to do. Um, but today I just feel like I'm... I, should, I feel like a bubble in a can. I've got no clue what I'm doing. I have this brush. I'm just trying to see if there's a palette close to me. No, I'm gonna have to get up. God gives the biggest battles to his bravest soldiers. Am I right, ladies? Okay, I found this palette. This is the Fiery Palette by Beauty Bay. It's got these colors in it. And I'm just gonna go in with Meringue, which is like a, a sandy color, just as like a base. I'm not very confident with eyeshadow. I, I obviously love an eyeliner moment, but eyeshadow is just not my forte. So I just find it's always best to start with like a proper transitional color. I don't know how clean this brush is, so we're just gonna wing it. This is the B1 brush by Glisten. Love this brush. I think I'm gonna go in with this one, which is cork. Just a brown, basically. And I'm gonna pop that literally the inner corner of my eye. Just pat it in like that, and then we can do some blending later because Stunning. <laughs> See, my struggle with eyeshadow is that like there's, first of all, it's a much longer process than eyeliner is. Um, but second of all, it's not as, um, it's not as like, what's the word? Direct as, as eyeliner is, obviously. And I'm gonna take that color above it, uh, Spice, and I'm gonna pop that on the outer corner and just flick it out like that. I do quite like a winged eyeshadow. Um, obviously, I love a wing, um, but a winged eyeshadow just is, it just feels so soft, so girly, so, ooh, I'm here, hello. And then there's a sparkly orange called Peel, and I'm gonna pop some of that on too, because more is more. 
I'm actually, I'm gonna go a bit rogue. I'm gonna go for the, the, the dark brown, fuck it. I'm gonna go for that. And I'm gonna place that again in this corner just to deepen it up a little bit. And a blend, 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 blend. I feel like it needs a glitter, but all of the glitters I have directly in front of me are like, like blue toned. I've changed my mind and I've done it all on uh, by my own accord and it's not because I can't find the thing that I'm looking for. It's absolutely not because of that. I'm not admitting defeat. That doesn't sound like something I would do. This is the one I'm gonna use. Um, this is not the one that I wanted. I wanted the one which was like gold color. I think it's cosmic. This one is called Witchcraft um, and it's like a duochrome. Pop that over the top of my eyelid, literally just in the middle, really concentrating that product right there. Because I'm then gonna tap it out just as like a, a soft light blend. I don't, but I don't want it going like out into that wing. I love the Chroma Magic liquid eyeshadows from Glisten, like genuinely the perfect glitter product. They're light, you can't feel them on your eyes, they pack a punch, they're just stunning, love those. I'm gonna pop some mascara on and maybe try and touch this bad boy up again. Um, but I'll come back to you in a second because I'm kinda getting bored of talking. And I never thought I'd say it either, but I'm kinda getting bored. on how it's turning out if I'm totally honest I think the, the lip and the eyes is, is too much so I'm gonna I'm gonna nervously take that off um, we'll see how I feel about myself in a second I really did think this was gonna make it look better however I'm now kind of worried that it just makes me look a bit dead. But there's not really much I can do about it now, do you know what I mean? Um, this is the vibe for the day. I've gone for this little vintage cropped denim, chambre. Um, it's from Old Navy, but I got it probably like six years ago. Um, and then some weekday jeans with uh, contrast stitching because I love contrast stitch. I think these are the row jeans, so they're like straight and not too tapered, but not like straight down and then i'll cuff the bottoms uh because obviously i'm five foot two so no jeans work for me um but i'm not going to show you that because that would mean getting my feet out and i'm not going to do that now i'm like Any anyway pretty much ready to leave the house now i'm gonna pack my bag and skedaddle thanks so much for watching spending this time with me see you in the next one <laughs>